Okay, so today we have a quick example to find the total hardness. So this is a relatively simple example that you want to get right on the FE exam. So this relates to softening and water chemistry as well for the environmental section or the civil environmental section as well. So this is heavy on the environmental section though for the environmental FE exam. So here we have a chemical analysis of a water sample and it has the following data. So we're given the ions and we're given the concentration when we measure that. And we want to find the total hardness in units in milligram per liter as calcium carbonate. So these are the units we always use for hardness and alkalinity as well. So that's what we're finding here, the hardness. But before that, I want to quickly discuss what we mean by hardness. We know it's primarily caused by the calcium and magnesium ions. So we know the source of these ions is due to geological formation and the erosion of these formations, which release these ions, right? So we know these are positively charged, and we know these calcium and magnesium usually predominate, and it is convenient in performing our softening calculations. So we need to find the total hardness to figure out how much lime or soda ash we need to add to soften the water and essentially eliminate that hardness, bring it down. So that's why we do this calculation. So we do the softening calculation and we approximate the total hardness as the sum of the calcium and magnesium ions. So total hardness is the calcium and magnesium ions only. And we know this is expressed as units of milligram per liter as calcium carbonate. So to give us a good idea of what we mean by hard, so moderately hard is in this range 60 to 120, hard is 120 to 180, very hard is 180 and over. So total hardness, again, it's going to be broken down into two components. So we have the hardness that's associated with the bicarbonate anion. This is bicarbonate. And we call this what? The carbonate hardness. That's the one, again, associated with the bicarbonate anion. And then we have, two the hardness that's associated with the other anions, and we call this non-carbonate hardness. So that's the non-carbonate hardness. Anything associated with other anions other than the bicarbonate. So basically, what's left over is always non-carbonate hardness. So the total hardness is the sum of the carbonate hardness and non-carbonate hardness. And that is kind of related to the bar charts we're used to seeing if you've done that in your classes. But we know we can actually see that visually using those bar charts, which I don't have here. But I think I did do a video over that. But at the end of the day, we want to find hardness, and it's always expressed in units of milligram per liter calcium carbonate. And we know the conversion of the concentration of milligram per liter to milligram per liter as calcium carbonate is going to depend on the equivalent weight of the species. So the way we convert is applying the following. To get to milligram per liter calcium carbonate, we take the milligram per liter concentration of whatever species we're looking at, maybe calcium or magnesium, we take the equivalent weight of the species, divide and on the bottom, sorry, and we take the equivalent weight of calcium carbonate on top. And this is always 50. So this one is always 50, and but we'll find that in the handbook as well. So this is always 50. This just depends on the species. We will do this in the example. And the equivalent weight is just the molecular weight divided by N, and just to save us time, we can actually just extract that equivalent weight using the table in the handbook. So we'll find that. So at the end of the day, the softening process will be conducted to degree water hardness by adding two major chemicals, the slurry lime, as given by the following chemical formula, and soda ash. So softening, we add lime and soda ash. These chemicals are used to precipitate out, so we have precipitation reactions, calcium and magnesium from water. We take these out. So the uh, equations for the total process of softening is actually in the handbook, and I believe I discussed that in a previous video. 
So at the end of the day, we're going to do this example and use the following chart on page 341 to 342 in the new FE handbook. So we'll use this just for reference. So let's do this real quick. So we have, we want to find the total hardness and we just defined that total hardness is what? The calcium ion plus the magnesium ion. And we just add the summation of these, but we know we want units as milligram per liter as calcium carbonate, right? So what I'm going to do first is just find the, the calcium concentration in milligram per liter as calcium carbonate and the magnesium just down here. So for the calcium, you don't necessarily need to write this down when you practice it. You'll get used to actually just solving it but let's do that real quick the calcium concentration in milligram per liter is calcium carbonate what do we do to convert to milligram per liter is calcium carbonate that's down here we take the concentration in milligram per liter times the equivalent weight of calcium carbonate and the equivalent weight of the species so the concentration is going to be for calcium so it's 80 right so we take 80 milligram per liter and we multiply on the bottom we have the equivalent weight of calcium right we're looking at calcium so let's find that using the table again this table is in the handbook on this page so the calcium is this right so let me highlight the row here and what we actually extract is this right the 20 so since I'm still in that same table, I know I'm going to need the magnesium as well. So let's just find the magnesium equivalent weight. It's 12.2. So this is for calcium, right? The equivalent weight of calcium. And this is the equivalent weight of magnesium. And also we have the equivalent weight of calcium carbonate, right? And that's what we always plug in on top. It's always 50. So a lot of people just have that memorized. But no, this is actually in the handbook as well, in this table. So this is 50. This is for calcium carbonate. That's what we put on top. So let's do that real quick for the calcium. We put 50 on top. 50. And we put the... It's going to be the 20 on bottom. So we do there, and that's for calcium. So this should equal to 200 milligram per liter as calcium carbonate so we have that let's do the same for magnesium then we will just add both of these you could do it in the equation if you want so we have that equals to so we take the concentration first again which is the 30 right milligram per liter times what we on top we have the 50 so that 50 just is always 50 on top divided by the equivalent weight of what of magnesium right and we said what was that around 12.2 right in the table equivalent weight is 12.2 so we have that let's just put 12.2 so we do that and this equals to about 122 0.95 milligram per liter as calcium carbonate. So let's just find the total hardness. TH total hardness is going to equal to the 200 plus the 122. So I'll just write that 200. We know both of these are in units of milligram per liter calcium carbonate. So we're good. And if we do the total summation, we get about 322.95 milligram per liter as calcium carbonate so we have that this should be our answer and in this case it's C that's all thank you